Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am your host, Ravina Rastaban, aka The Realist Astrologer, and today I am going to get into the dark sided cancer female. So, before I get started, I must state my disclaimer. So, basically, my disclaimer is this video pertains to those women who lean on the dark side or are dark sided altogether. A dark sided person is disagreeable, will be the cause of breakups, will create strife between family and friends. They tend to be self-centered and they refuse to see the errors of their ways. Or if they do see their shortcomings, they refuse to change. So if these traits do not apply to you, most likely you are not dark-sided. However, on some of your worst days, you may display some of these dark-sided traits. So let's begin. First and foremost, uh, the dark-sided cancer female is all emotional. She's totally ruled by her emotions unless she has some aspects in her chart that uh, give her a good dose of rationality and logic. However, uh, most dark-sided cancer uh, women are totally ruled by their emotions, and in that vein, they're hypersensitive and they're irrational. The dark-sided cancer female is moody. Her mood shifts at a moment's notice and without warning. She's also very needy, especially emotionally. The dark-sided cancer female tends to take everything personally, so she lacks objectivity. So she's always injecting herself in the situation. She's always, you know, thinking everything goes back to her. She also doesn't know how to lighten up. So the dark-sided cancer female can be really uptight. Another thing is she can't take a joke. She also tends to be stingy and selfish and a cheapskate. So that kind of echoes the dark-sided Capricorn uh, male. The dark-sided cancer female is also very clingy. So, you know, when you uh, meet someone and you get into a new friendship or relationship and you see a connection, well, cancer doesn't see it that way. They actually see it as a catch. So that whole uh, term, um, he's a good catch, that definitely probably came from a cancer woman because they don't catch you. I mean, they don't connect with you. They catch you. And once they catch you, they latch on just like a crab does, and they don't want to let go. So they're very clingy. A lot of times they won't give you your personal space. And the key word for cancer is tenacity. Cancer is very tenacious, meaning once they have something, they hold on to it, and they're very determined in terms of getting what they want, and they will not give up until they get what they want. Also, the dark-sided cancer female tends to mother her mate to the point of smothering. So she's a natural caretaker. Um, she really wants to nurture. However, sometimes it's just too much, and again, it deals with not giving that person their own space. So along with that, she can be too touchy-feely, always touching you, always stroking your hair, you know, picking lint off your clothes, you know, always like situating yourself, straightening up your tie and stuff. So sometimes that could just be a bit too much. In the same vein, she could be very fussy, nitpicky, and be a big time worry wart. So she's always worrying about something very rarely is at peace. And again, it deals with that highly emotional and highly hypersensitive nature. Also, the dark-sided cancer female tends to be very insecure. She needs constant reassurance. Um, it's never enough. She needs constant check-ins. Uh, dark-sided Virgo can be like that as well, where she needs constant check-ins for that reassurance. So she's very insecure, and she constantly needs to be told that, you know, I love you, I want to be with you, you know, you're the only one I want. Otherwise, she's always going to portray this insecure persona. Also, along with that, she tends to be very fearful. So the dark side of cancer can have some irrational fears to the point of phobias. And when she feels threatened, she'll crawl into her shell. So think about the crab. So that's cancer's defense mechanism to basically crawl into a shell so that, you know, nobody can get to them. So a way they could crawl into their shell is just by clamming up and not saying anything, being very standoffish. Um, just going into their own little room and not, you know, uh, engaging until they feel um, more comfortable or until they feel more at ease. And another thing that goes along with the fear, cancer is about imagination. So they have a tendency to let their imagination run wild when it comes to all the bad things that can happen. So, uh, you know, if you're married to a dark-sided cancer woman and you're late, coming from work, she's automatically going to think you're either cheating or something bad happened, like you got in some accident. So she's going to start freaking out and her imagination is going to run wild with all the bad things that you could be doing. 
along with that is she tends to make mountains out of molehills. So little concerns she'll make a big deal out of, little problems, little slights. Um, in that uh, respect, she could be a very hard friend to deal with because if you if she feels like you've crossed her or she feels like you've disrespected her in some type of way, she'll make a mountain out of a molehill. I actually had a cancer friend that did this. I made a mistake and um, I had posted something um, without her permission, but I didn't use her name and it was anonymous, but she happened to read it. And I apologized and everything, even though it was part of uh, my work. So I was well within my right to post what I did, but basically our friendship ended over that little detail. So she didn't forgive me for, you know, basically uh, putting some information out there, even though her name wasn't out there and there was no way anybody could know that I was talking about this person. But anyway, yeah, they take things too seriously, too uptight, and they make mountains out of molehills. Another dark-sided cancer female trait is they tend to be too thirsty for men. Men are uh, the dark-sided cancer female's highest priority, chief priority. Uh, she'll tend to put a man on a pedestal even when he's undeserving of that. Men, men come first in her life. If she doesn't have a man, she's always looking for a man. She's always complaining about how lonely she is, how she needs a man in her life, how she needs a man to have her back. Uh, a lot of times the dark side of cancer females, she feels like, you know, she can't make it through life without a man on her side. Um, basically, a man is her chief ambition. In a relationship, if she is in a relationship with one or if she's married, she'll, she's always going to be talking about her man. So that could get really old after a while. Another dark side of cancer trait is they can be uh, really meek and demure around men but will be a real bitch on wheels around women. So they can switch up, and this deals with the moon. The moon is very changeable. It's never stable. So they will switch up when in the company of just women, but then when men come around, they get all sweet and all soft and all sensitive, and you know they really try play up to men's sensibilities, and they're really good at that. They're really good at that. Um, that whole uh, saying, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach, that is definitely a cancer saying. The cancer female will um, try to entice men with food and other, you know, things that they think men like. Another dark-sided cancer trait is food. Uh, just like the dark-sided Taurus female, the dark-sided cancer female places a high priority on food, even more so than, uh, more so than the dark-sided Taurus female. The reason for that is cancer rules the stomach. And cancer is about uh, sustenance and uh, food as well. Virgo is too. But cancer even more so because it's more of a survival um, mechanism or on a survival level. So if, they're, if they haven't eaten, if they are hungry, they could be very grouchy. They have a problem with that whole hypoglycemia uh, a lot of times. So they could get really nasty attitudes if they're hungry. Um, just like the dark-sided Taurus female, she can um, be the strange addiction type and have quirky food habits. Like, uh, there's this one dark-sided, well, they're not dark-sided, but one cancer in particular, they don't use any uh, utensil except for a spoon. And again, it deals with that whole uh, comforting thing. Um, they can put on a lot of weight because they love food so much and they place such a high priority on food. Just think about Jessica Simpson. She's a cancer. She always has a battle with her weight. Missy Elliott is another one. She always battles with her weight. And one of the main reasons for that is their love of food. But cancer has a tendency to be kind of, you know, plump and voluptuous anyway because of that influence from the moon. A lot of times the dark side of cancer, she always has to have like some large beverage on her desk at work. A lot of times she'll have a drawer full of snacks because that food provides that sense of comfort. They can also be hoarders. So that show hoarders, I mentioned about the dark-sided Taurus female being a hoarder, but cancer even more so. And a lot of times it deals with food. Again, it's that food uh, addiction that they can have. And the reason why they tend to be hoarders is because they have, they're motivated by fear. Capricorn is motiva motivated by fear as well. Uh, cancer is motiva motivated by fear to a large degree. It's fear of poverty and fear of going hungry. So dark-sided cancer is very fear-oriented. And in that vein, she will hoard things, especially food or especially things that she feels like are uh, 
highly treasured by other people. She'll tend to hoard it. And in that vein, she'll be very stingy and can be a tightwad. Also, the dark-sided cancer can be very secretive. She will hide shit. She will stow things away. So kind of like the hoarding thing. Now, she will demand privacy, but she will invade your privacy. If she's in a relationship with you, don't be surprised if she knows all your passwords and can hack into your accounts. And basically, she'll track you online and see what you're up to. Also, along with that fear of poverty comes the tendency to be very money hungry. So the dark side of cancer tends to be very ruthless when it comes to earning money and when it comes to getting money in general. So they could be some of the worst type of co-workers, especially if you're in a performance-based position because they will basically step on your toes. They will stab you in the back if it means they'll get ahead. The dark side of cancer female will also sleep her way to the top. Um, one uh, example of a dark sided female is Leona Hemsley. For uh, you younger generations, you probably haven't heard of her, but she was this big time real estate tycoon and she slept her way to the top, cancer. Um, and she was very shrewd, which is another cancer trait. Um, very cheap, very cheapskate. Uh, she fired her employees at the drop of the hat. Very ruthless when it came to uh, making money. And she would, you know, play upon men's sensibilities to get what she wanted out of them. So um, part of your homework for this particular video, if you want some more insight into the dark side of cancer female, is to uh, go on YouTube and pull up the story uh, about Leona Hemsley, the Leona Hemsley story. Uh, they made a Lifetime movie about it because, uh, yeah, she's such a crazy bitch that they had to make a movie about it. But basically... Um, she ended up being um, convicted of uh, money laundering or embezzlement or something like that. Basically, she was cooking the books and she was funneling um, the money from her business into her personal expenses to uh, build this huge mansion that um, she had with her husband. So basically, she uh, evaded. That's what it was. Tax evasion. They got her on tax evasion. So basically, she... Um, evaded her personal tax liability by funneling it into the business. So yeah, cancer can be like that, be very money hungry, can be workaholics because they're so money hungry. And they can, when they're very extreme on the dark side of side, um, they can engage in embezzlement on the job or they can be a thief. Imelda Marcos is another one. She was the um, president of the Philippines and she was basically stealing money from the people or whatever she had all these shoes so again hoarder um, another thing about the dark side of cancer female is she tends to complain incessantly she could be whiny a crybaby pal size bemoans her fate but she won't try to change it so if she hates her job she'll talk shit about the boss but she'll be there for years um, you know, she'll be talking, you know, trash about the boss, but then turn around and buy the boss coffee and donuts. <laughs> also, in conversation, uh, the dark side of cancer female tends to be very long-winded. It takes forever for her to get to the point. Um, she just, you know, will talk on and on and on, and sometimes she could be a bore because she just will not get to the point. Another dark side of cancer trait is she tends to... Uh, cling to the past again with that clinging nature cancer deals with the past and uh, if it's a past love or past hurt she will have a hard time getting over it and she will you know pine over that lost love if she's in a new relationship and her old lover comes back even if he's bad news a lot of times she'll drop the guy even if the new guy is a better guy she'll drop him and go back to the old guy so they tend to live in the past they tend to be stuck on the past Another thing about the dark side of cancer female is she tends to be very neurotic. So, you know, kind of mentally unstable, a busybody, won't leave well enough alone, has a hard time, you know, just feeling settled. Because, like I said, the moon is very changeable. It goes through different phases. So especially during the full moon, you might notice that the dark side of cancer female tends to be a little bit more ornery, tends to be a little bit more loony or off. So you got to watch that. You, you really don't want to start no arguments or break up with a uh, dark side of cancer female during a full moon cycle. It's not going to be pretty. Also, like the dark side of Taurus female, the dark side of cancer female can over accessorize, but be tackier. And some of her clothes and outfits can appear cheap or not put together well. Uh, she could be gaudy. 
she tends to love big hair which is why i made my hair the way it is uh, for this video uh cancers tend to like love that big hair like that big uh you know presentation with their look so their look is often very bold and again it's all about catching that man so they want their hair to be a lot of times cancer's hair is very soft looking and very um either wavy or has a nice curl pattern to it but sometimes you know they just like it's either teased too much or sometimes they have that helmet hair going on where it just looks like a helmet monica lewinsky is a cancer um, she was the one who got caught up with the Bill Clinton and where she was giving him head in the Oval Office. She's a cancer. Go back and look at some of her pictures and you'll see what I mean about that helmet hair. Um, also, they tend to, they love blush. And I think it does that, you know, the cheeks and, you know, cheeks are kind of moon-like. So they like to have that moon glow type of persona. So they tend, they might overdo it on the blush. They might also overdo it on the um, foundation. So a lot of times it can come across as that pan pancake makeup look. Um, think about Pamela Anderson. She's a cancer. And all of her look is totally about catching a man. So, you know, she has that big hair. She has a dark eyeliner. She has that blush. She has, you know, that pink frosted lipstick that, you know, and she got the, her lips done. Lisa Renna is another one. Got the lip injection. She's a cancer. Um, again, it's about catching men. Trust me. Make no mistake. At the end of the, end of the day, cancer's chief aim is to catch a man. Now, they can have dreamy eyes, and their eyes tend to be really beautiful, and you could get lost in them. But sometimes they bat their eyes a bit too much, and they can appear dopey as a result. And sometimes they act kind of dopey, like they don't have any sense. And a lot of that, like I said, goes back to them being ruled by their emotions and not having much logic. Now, in terms of being ruled by their emotions, you got to watch out during breakups because they will have a complete emotional uh, meltdown. Like basically picture uh, the dark side cancer female running across the lawn in her bathrobe, jumping on top of her husband's car, talking about don't leave me. She'll be a stalker during a breakup. She'll engage in emotional blackmail. So she'll do things like she'll threaten to hurt or kill herself as a last resort during a breakup to try to get the guy to uh, feel pity on her and get her to stay. Another dark side of cancer uh, female trait is they tend to be clones. So think about that movie, Single White Female. And if you've never seen that movie, uh, you might want to check it out because that's an epitome of a dark side of cancer female. Now, cancer and is ruled by the moon, and the moon deals with reflections. So the moon does not really show your true image. So a lot of times, the dark side of cancer female can have this illusion to her. Or if it's somebody that she admires or looks up to or wants to um, aspire to be, she'll mirror herself after that person and clone herself after that person. Think about little Kim and how she's changed her appearance into trying to look like a white female, single white female. So yeah, they can have it bad when it comes to mirroring and becoming a clone of something that they aspire to. Another dark side of cancer traits, they tend to have a crab in a barrel syndrome. You guys heard of the whole crab in a barrel syndrome. Um, the women cancers tend to have more of that um, trait than the men. And they can be very envy, envious. They can be very jealous. They can be natural haters. Especially uh, in relationships, they can't stand to see their man talking to another female, even if that female is a friend. Um, sometimes even if it's a family member, you know, they start to really feel threatened and insecure. When it comes to parenting, you have two types of mothers for the dark side of cancer female. You got the mother that smothers and hovers, and she tries to live life vicariously through her child. And she's basically the quintessential pageant mom. And she tends to put too much on her child. She might make her child earn their own keep through putting them on the stage at an early age. Then you have the other dark side of cancer female mother that um, she tends to be very self-absorbed. She's probably the workaholic type. Um, basically, it's all about making money. Now, she'll be a great provider for her kids, but basically, it's like her kids are invisible until they beg for uh, correction, and then all hell breaks loose because she has this reactionary, irrational response. A lot of times, the dark side of cancer mother won't uh, want to deal with situations head on and she'll just run into her room, you know, crawl into her shell and let the kids sort it out for themselves. 
Um, also, um, both types of dark-sided cancer mothers, they can lack the emotional intelligence needed to effectively raise level-headed children. So like I mentioned, they are often reactionary instead of proactive. And they can be illogical when it comes to discipline. So they could come up with some like crazy uh, forms of discipline. Also, uh, the dark-sided cancer mother will allow a new man to come in and take over the whole household, creating problems for her children. Um, again, they place men on such a high uh, pedestal that they will let them come in and take over their whole life. Sexually, the dark-sided cancer female can be closed off. Um, she could be inhibited, too inhibited, and she could be too tense sometimes and uptight. Sometimes it takes a lot to get her to open up. And sometimes certain parts of her body may be totally off limits. And the reason why is the dark-sided cancer female, she's ruled by her past when it comes to sexuality. So if she has some um, sexual abuse in her background or if, you know, she had some negative sexual experiences or if she had a um, boyfriend that, you know, he really put it down on her really good and the new man is different, she might not respond you know, to this new guy because he's not putting it down like the old guy. So she could be really uptight, be set in her ways sexually. Uh, a lot of times for her, sex is like work or a means to an end. It's how she could easily get with a guy that is not that she's not physically attracted to. So um, as long as he's making her feel like she's wanted or needed, she can get with him. So a lot of dark side of cancer females will get with ugly men or, you know, You'll be like, what does she see in him? But it's because he makes her feel that, you know, he needs her. He wants her. That's what she likes. And she likes to be taken care of. And again, it's that money. If he has money, she's all over him. Dark-sided cancer female can be a gold digger. Also, um, she will withhold sex like the dark-sided Capricorn male. Think about the opposite signs to gain the upper hand, or she will dangle the promise of sex over a guy's head if he has something that she wants. Also, she tends to expect way too much in the beginning in a relationship, and she will burn a new guy out and then wonder why he doesn't want to stick around. So sometimes she's too over overbearing, lacks boundaries, won't give him enough space in the beginning, and then when he's running for the hill, she's like, you know, what did I do wrong? So, like I said before, too emotional, often lacks logic so she can be conned or duped easily but if she's really dark-sided she'll be the one conning you and you know pulling a fast one on you trying to be all sweet and nurturing but she has a hidden agenda um because they're ruled by the moon they could be mentally unhinged delusional disturbed um they could go off on the deep end especially during a full moon like i said and also the dark-sided cancer is very impressionable so so you got to think about the moon. It's all receptive. It doesn't give out. It just receives. So they're very impressionable. Now, I talked about the dark-sided cancer male and him being the pimp of the zodiac. So the dark-sided cancer female is the bottom bitch of the zodiac. So she's the type that will be with her man, you know, through thick and thin, will stay with him, ride or die. Think about uh, Karen in the movie Goodfellas. I swear she was portraying a cancer female in that movie because she stayed with him to the very end, even though he was cheating and doing all types of stuff. But um, now, like I said, they're very impressionable. So if another guy comes along and he, tends to, he has more money or his pimp game is stronger, she will choose that guy over her guy because his pimp game is stronger, like I said. And like a, a cancer needs to be taken care of. And you know how pimps, they take care of their women, even though they might beat them down. So think about China Doll in the movie The Mac. She was pretty Tony's bottom bitch. But because Goldie was Mac of the year, she wanted to get with Goldie. So she got, you know, they was at the pool hall or whatever. And she, you know, slides up to Goldie. She's like, does every woman need an audition to get with you? And her hair was all big at the time, too. Yeah, cancer female. And um, Pretty Tony was like, what? Like, is, is that your man? Come here. But watch the Mac and see that part again. But yeah, China Doll was definitely a cancer. But basically, that's my take on the dark-sided cancer female. To the extreme, the dark-sided cancer female can basically lose it and lose all rationality. So um, one of the most famous... Uh, 
dark sided cancer female criminals is Jody Arias or Arias, I forget how you pronounce her last name. But basically, um, she killed her boyfriend because he broke up with her and he didn't want to deal with her anymore. So um watch that movie. You could find it on YouTube. It was, it was a lifetime movie. So you could get another idea of how the dark side of cancer female could just go off on the deep end. Um, the whole stalking thing. Um, another dark sided uh, cancer female is Lindsay Lohan. So she's totally ruled by her emotions. That's why a lot of times she's a basket case. Um, Lizzie Borden, the one who chopped up her uh, family. She's another dark sided cancer. Camilla Parker Bowles. She, um, was seeing Prince Charles while Prince Charles was married to Princess Di. Princess Di is a cancer too, so Prince Charles, he must have something in his chart that attracts these cancer women. And Wendy Williams, another dark-sided cancer female. So, um, yeah, that's my take on the dark-sided cancer female. Hopefully you found this insightful. Um, please feel free to contribute if you have any experiences with dark-sided cancer females that you would like to share. Please like and subscribe. Please stay tuned. My next video in this dark-sided Zodiac series will be on the dark-sided Leo female with their attention-seeking and uh, very narcissistic, narcissistic selves. So stay tuned. Peace and blessings.